Litmus Edge comes with pre-built and ready-to-use analytics and KPIs. These include calculations for moving average, anomaly detection, statistical prediction, asset utilization, and many more. These are easy to set up and allow you to take input from your industrial devices, apply out-of-the-box logic, and use those results for visualizations or perform further processing on them. Let's have a look. So on the analytics screen, you can see first that we have an analytics palette, and on here we have three different analytics functions going. Each of these functions consists of three different pieces, an input, the actual function that you want to perform, and an output, or where do you want to send that data. So let's have a quick look and see how each of these are working. So we look at the input. On this, we can see we've chosen a topic, which is mapped to our pump two temperature. This topic is coming from our pump PLC. Your input can also be a database field. In this case, we're going to go straight from data we're collecting directly from a machine. The second piece is the function. And here, if we look inside, we're doing a simple moving average. And we're taking the last 25 values that we've read and performing a simple moving average on that. And here, on the output portion, you can see we're writing it to a database. It's TS data, which is our default database. And we're giving it a name inside that database called pump2 temperature MA for moving average. And that's it. Those are the three different pieces. So if we look at the second and third flows that we have here, same thing. Here we have two inputs coming in. One is the pump two temperature, one is the pump three temperature, and we're doing a moving maximum. So same idea, 25 is the window size, so the last 25 values will be the calculation window. But this time it's going to do a, a maximum. So it's going to pump out the maximum value it's seeing over the last 25. And again, we're writing this to a database, TS data, and this we're calling pump two temperature MM. And here, the last one, we're doing statistical predictions. So again, we're taking an input. This time it is our pump two temperature and we are applying statistical prediction to it. Now, we use the Fourier extrapolation method a little bit of information here. I'm not going to get into the details of this, but what it will do is it will try to predict uh, values that it's going to see in the future. And we will again write this to a database, TS data, the field being pump to temperature step pred. Now, when you have all this set up, you can, I'll show you here in Grafana, we have the output. So for each one, the moving average, the moving maximum, and the statistical prediction, we set these out to a Grafana dashboard. So this helps you visualize what's going on on your shop floor. Now, if you want to set one up, it's really quite simple. All we do is we click the Add Flow, and we'll give it a name. This time, we're going to do Pump 3 Temperature and we'll do uh, statistical prediction. And we first have to check, you know, do we want to do a database batch input or a data hub subscribe? The data hub subscribe will take it from a topic, which means it's coming from a PLC or something that you set up in, in loop flows. So we'll take the data hub subscribe. And from here, we just have to select the topic. So these are all the available topics we've already set up. And here's pump three temperature. We click next. And these are all the different processor functions that you can choose from. So what we're going to pick is statistical prediction. And then we will hit next. And we will choose database output for ours. The database will be TS data. That's our default litmus edge database. And we'll call this pump three temperature SP and that could be any name that you want it's just the name it's going to write to uh, in the database and we go create flow you'll see here at the bottom it's now ready to go it's turned on we'll hit save and now we can use the output here pump three temperature SP on our Grafana dashboard 
So if we go over here, we can hit add panel, we'll add a query. We will select from our default database and we will pick pump three temperature SP. That's the one that we just set up. So it's already collecting data. And instead of mean, we're just gonna change that to distinct. And the value is prediction. And you can see already it's starting to show up there. We can add a quick little title that says pump three statistical prediction. And we'll make it temperature. And we'll save. We'll go back to our main. And now you can see pump three temperature statistical prediction is starting to come through already. That's how fast and easy it is. Choose the inputs, decide what kind of a function you want to apply to it, pump the data to a database field, throw it on a dashboard, and you can start to see your data. You can start to use that data in a database as well for further analytics, uh, further processing, whatever you want to do. But that's how Litmus Edge helps you get from data collection to statistical analysis very, very quickly.